All right, guys, welcome to the video. Today, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to make a song like Fred again. All stems used in this video will be available through my email list, which is absolutely free, which is the first link in the description. Let's get straight into it. So coming into the project now, this is what our project looks like. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is this intro, which has the drums as well as the main melody. So I'm going to walk you through the drums one by one, and we'll start off with the kick drum. Snare. Hats. And then we got this percussion. A crash. And our shakers. So they are the basic drums. I like to have them pretty simple because it's easiest to follow along with and then you let the melodies really shine on top. So this is what our melody sounds like in the intro. It's the same sample used throughout the song, uh, but here it's just chopped up to kind of tease the listener. So that's just a vocal sample which has a vocoder on it. It's a cymatics loop um, and I think it's similar to something that Fred again would use. So that's why when I, when I heard it, um, my first thought was, okay, I'm going to make a house beat with this and it's going to sound amazing. So now for the build up, we've got this, uh, the same melody, but just um, pitched down. <laughs> So that plays for two bars and then we get to this build up here where we bring in some of the drums and also this re-space. So that is the build up. It's pretty simple. It's just the drums. This re-space is playing a very simple pattern, just following the chord progression of the song. It just adds a lot of energy to the build up. The main thing I would say uh, when you're building up um, songs is to have a bit of drums in there to get the rhythm going, but you also need lots of risers. So all of these risers come together to make it feel quite high energy and you'll see once the beat drops um, they actually you know fall the other way so I'll let you hear what these um, risers sound like on their own so um, you can't really get much from that and it doesn't make sense unless it's with the music and with the music and the drums it doesn't seem as dramatic as it sounds there but you don't necessarily notice it when you're listening to the song but it really builds the energy <laughs> Great. So now I'm going to show you the chorus section, and this is obviously the session which is most important. Um, it's the session that everyone's going to be dancing to, and it's perfect for a club setting. Honestly, um, I could just hear this being played in a club. So my bass is actually the first thing I um, started when I was doing this song, and it's actually a um, drill um, sliding bass that you use in a drill song, you know, at the end of a bar. So this is what it sounds like on its own. You'll probably see what I mean. But when I heard it, I thought that might actually work with a four in the floor drum loop. So I tried that and it did. So other than the various risers, we've also got lots of ambience, which kind of, I can play it on its own and you'll see what I mean. It really just beefs up the sound of the track. So 
So again, you don't necessarily hear it, you know, specifically when you're listening to the song, but it adds so much energy and just uh, really fills out the, the soundscape. You can also hear I've got some automation on these um, risers, which is just giving it that side chain feel. Which sounds even better with the drums. In terms of melodies in the chorus, we're just back to our um, octave higher. Which is side chained as well with this automation. And we also get the second melody in the second half of the chorus. Uh, on its own, it sounds like this. So that's obviously side chain as well. And with the whole mix, it sounds a lot better. So just to give you an idea of what it sounds like uh, from the build up to the drop, I'm just going to play it through now. So I think that sounds absolutely amazing. In terms of arrangement, this song is pretty simple. I don't like to overcomplicate things too much. So we just come back to this, um, similar to what we had in the intro. For the second verse. Bring the energy down. We get back to our um, build up then. And then of course we drop again for the second time. So that's the song overall. I think something you'd take away from this video and something in particular that I took away from making it is that these risers, ambience, and also having your melodies uh, with a bit of reverb on them really fills out the song, especially in headphones. If you're listening in headphones, you'll, you'll know what I mean. Um, and it's something that I wasn't really used to doing until this song, but it just adds so much energy to that drop. Um, another thing I would say is that you don't need to overcomplicate things. Um, you can see here, I've got one, two, three melodic elements in this song, along with my ambience and risers, you know, you really don't have to go overboard in order to achieve that Fred Again sound. Uh, I know um, Fred Again likes to use lots of melodies in different ways, but I find that sometimes if I attempt to do it, um, you need to be very succinct with what you're trying to do and you really don't need to overcomplicate things because in this kind of song, what you're looking for is that energy, not necessarily the kind of flow of the music which you would get from other production. So the song is only two and a half minutes and I don't like my songs to be any longer than that because um, you find yourself getting bored of the same thing, especially because I like to keep them simple and I don't like to change up the various courses too much. Anyway guys, that is the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you enjoy the content, you want to stay along for more. As I said at the beginning of the video, all stems from this song will be available through my email list in the description. It is completely free, so it is absolutely free value. You can go on, get these stems, mess around with them, and see what's really going on in detail. If you're interested in some one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can email me at rory at roryair.com. We can get that arranged, talk about it, and see what we can do together. Other than that, guys, I'll leave you with a preview of the song. Thank you very much for watching, and all right.
Stop and 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 stop and